Okay, so your last video was on ratios, and section 6.1 um, also talks about proportion and geometric mean. We thought we'd put the proportion and geometric mean together. Um, a proportion is when you have two ratios that are equal to each other. So it's an equation that has a ratio on each side. That would mean that one ratio is equal to the other. So looking at it with all variables, we have A over B equals C over D. Um, some more terminology is that B and C, whatever numbers are in these two places, are called the means, and A and D are called the extremes. So um, the, also this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So uh, the first and fourth are always the extremes, and the second and third are always the means. Now there is a property that says uh, the cross products property says that if you have a proportion, the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Uh, I know some people refer to this as the butterfly method or the means extremes property, but what it's saying is that if you have a proportion, A over B equals C over D, these are equal, okay? If these two ratios are equal, then A times D is equal to B times C. So of course the problems come in when we have some numbers. And so um, if you're given that 2 over 3 is equal to 4 over 6, this is actually just proving that it works because of course we know that 2 to 3 is equal to 4 to 6. Um, you can see that 2 times 6 is 12 and 4 times 3 is 12. So it's kind of like a check. This property works if it's all numbers. Sorry about that, I had a phone call ring. Um, and so now what we're going to do is take a look at what a problem might look like. So they might give you that 5 to 10 is equal to x to 16. Well, since we know the cross products property, we know that 10x is equal to 5 times 16. So that's going to be 10x equals 80, and of course, x equals 8. So there's that answer. Um, they, they get more involved, of course, and so here's another example. So in this case, we have a polynomial involved. In fact, a monomial, in, oh, sorry, a binomial involved. So we have 1 to y plus 1 is equal to 2 to 3y. And so we're going to do 1 times 3y is equal to 2 times y plus 1. Of course, it's really important to make sure you put parentheses around this because it's not 2y plus 1. It's going to be 2y plus 2 when we distribute that 2. If I subtract 2 from both sides, sorry, if I subtract 2y from both sides, we end up with y equals 2. So those are some problems that you might have. Um, in addition, this is kind of maybe the newest part for you, uh, geometric mean. A geometric mean is the positive number x that satisfies this proportion. Notice that the x's are the means and they are always the same number. So we're not using two different variables here. We're using um, x and x, which means uh, whatever number's here is also going to be here. Now a and b can be completely anything else, but if this is a 4, this is a 4, and if this is a 7, this is a 7. Um, a and b, of course, also have to be positive. Um, particularly because you can't divide by zero, so non-zero. Um, okay, so if I were to use that cross products property, that would be that x squared is equal to a times b. And so that's also true if I take the square root of both sides. Um, normally, we would put a plus or minus here anytime you take the square root of both sides of an equation. Normally, it would be plus or minus radical a b, but because with geometric mean, we're talking about um, that they have to be positive, you don't have to put the plus or minus there. So let's see what this would mean. So you might have a problem that says find the geometric mean of 12 and 27. So as soon as they say geometric mean, you know that you're going to put an x here and an x here. And then we're going to put 12 and 27. kind of doesn't matter if you put the 27 here or the 12 here. Um, it's going to work out to get the same answer, but usually we just put them in order. So they gave me the 12 and the 27. So now we're just going to go ahead and finish this. We're going to get x squared equals whatever 12 times 27 is. 12 times 27 is 324. And then, of course, we're going to take the square root of 324. Um, again, I could have the plus or minus here, but because we're talking about um, it's always positive, 
we don't really need that there. I guess I plan to talk about that. So um, plus or minus 18, but because geometric mean is always positive, we have an answer of 18. Uh, just briefly, it, they don't always have to work out to integers. Um, in fact, I had planned on showing you this one. It's a little bit more um, involved, but the geometric mean between 24 and 48 set it up the same way, and we ended up with the square root of 1,152, which if you simplify, you get 24 radical 2.